Yo, what's up guys, it's International O back at it. I know it has been a nice long minute since I've talked to you guys. Um, this is not a shoe review. I'm waiting on a couple pair of shoes, but I know it's been a long time since I connected with you all, so um, I'm gonna show you what this is. And then actually I got some pickups. I'm gonna show y'all some pickups too. Forgot about my pickups. None shoes, but it's clothes pickups. And I'm gonna show you what this is about. Get your stuff, man. Hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. I need that. I appreciate that. If you could do that for me, it would mean a lot. Like button, subscribe button. Let's do it. First thing I got from an escape shop, Nocturnal. They had the Ben and Jerry dunk raffle. As you know, with these stores now, man, they, they want you to go through leaps and bounds. So you had to buy a shirt. You buy a shirt that gave you more raffle entries. Of course, I did it and didn't win the raffle. So they got $25 out of me for this shirt. Uh, it says Nocturnal on the front. Then it has this on the back. So, yep. Shout out to Nocturnal Skate Shop. They got me. Um, <laughs> next, this is a A-Life. This is an A-Life tee that I got from the good people at A-Life. Um, no, I got this from Urban Outfitters. They had a deal on it at Urban Outfitters. It is marked $50, but I think I got it for like 20 something bucks. It's marked down, A-Life Shop Art Museum. You see that T, you know what I'm saying? Nice pickup. And, here, and then here on the back, it has the A-Life branding here on the back of the shirt, if you can see that. But here on the tag on this side, it says Lee, like the jeans. Um, but yeah, it's a cool little shirt. You can well I actually might wear it tomorrow. Been trying to stay safe out here in these Texas streets with this quarantine because it has been dangerous out here in Texas. So I've actually been quarantining since March. Like I've literally have not went anywhere. I may have went to got some food at a drive through months ago. And I've been on the same tank of gas since April. Haven't went anywhere. Next up. I got this from Foot Lock. I got a good deal from Foot Lock. I got these for, I think, 40 bucks? No, 27 bucks. And a regular price, $80. The Foot Locker. Yes, the Nike NBA shorts. I got the Portland Trailblazer shorts. Do they have the pockets? Yes, they have the pockets. I had these for a while, honestly. I just didn't do a video on them. They're tangled in here. But yeah, NBA shorts. Got the Portland logo right here on the side. Got the NBA logo on this side. Then here at the waistband, it says Rip City. Yeah, these are dope. These are dope. Definitely rocking these. Then got the Nike right here by the pocket. These are these are dope. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear these. I got a few options I can wear these with, but these are dope. These are keepers. Next up, shout out to Private Label. I was able to get a private label crossbody bag. I'm buying all this shit like I'm going somewhere. <laughs> Haven't really been anywhere. <laughs> but uh, shout out to the good people at Private Label. Got this private label bag. Um, I wanted to get a bag when I travel that can hold the Nintendo Switch. Uh, or Switch Lite. I got both. And they said that this can hold that. So I went ahead and bought one. And it has, actually, if you notice, it has pockets on the sides as well so you can put compartments on the side it has a handle right here um also has a compartment here got a zipper here then a bigger compartment there's compartments everywhere and i like that because i be when i travel if i'm moving around i like to have a lot of stuff with me and i don't feel like having in my pockets make my pants my shorts sag um so this will be definitely dope to add to the collection private label and put the link in the description for them also um put that to the side the homie marcus yes came through for me lids locker room had a 50 percent off sale of everything in their store a couple weeks ago and i was at home my homie told me sent him some money told him look out for me i wanted this jersey in particular and he got it i told him i didn't care what player it was just if they had this jersey i wanted and yes 50% off. This jersey was 70 bucks. Mitchell and Ness, NBA All-Star jersey. The San Antonio 1996 jersey. Penny Hardaway. Dope pickup. 
just <sighs> had had matter of fact, I'm gonna show you why I wanted this jersey. I wanted this jersey to go with these. Just Boy, yes. Now, now that I got those, oh, one more, one more, one more. Nah, I, I feel like reaching for it. I have a Nintendo Switch. Shout out to the homie B Proctor. Looked out for me. Got me a Nintendo Switch. I got the gray one. Uh, good friend of mine, man. I really appreciate that because they were selling out like hot cakes, and I wanted one. Down to business while we're here. This is not sneaker related. Now, if you are like myself, in my, my pastime, my hobby, I am a recording artist. I record rap music. Um, I, at one point, I also had a podcast a few years ago called A Given Game Podcast. But yes, I rap, I record music, and most of my videos, you've heard my songs playing in the background of them. Uh, I had a USB mic that I was recording with. And matter of fact, I'm going to get the mic. I'm going to grab the mic. This is right here. I had this mic for over 10 years. You see, it's warped. I've had this mic for over 10 years. This is a USB mic. This is an M Audio mic. It's the same company behind Avid Pro Tools. Um, this is an M Audio USB mic. I've recorded plenty of mixtapes with this microphone for years. And um, I mixed my own music, and the quality was not bad. It got me by for the purpose of what I was doing. Well, now I am recording an album, and the recorded album, I wanted a great sound. I wanted it to sound professional. I wanted it to sound great. So, in order to accomplish that, I had to get new studio equipment for home. Shout out to Wavy Wayne. I saw a video from Wavy Wayne. I also put his video in the description. Um, for good studio equipment, if you're having a home studio, uh, inexpensive home studio equipment. So this is what I got. Uh, I'm going to post a link to everything that I have here in the description. If you are an artist yourself and looking for a new studio setup or you tired of paying people to go to a studio and record and want to have your own setup. This was not expensive at all. Uh, I'm going to run down the prices through for you as I show you what I've gotten. And actually what I realized after I bought this was you can get this in an actual set, a bundle for $249. Uh, had I known it, I would have did that, but either way, I still came out pretty good. So let's get to it. First things first, small box. This is a small box, but this is the most important box in all of these boxes. And yes, so one of the most important things you need as a recording artist is an interface. If you're recording from home and you're not using a USB mic, you need an interface. So, what do I have? Yes, an interface. And this is, I've looked online and I saw a lot of great reviews for this uh, interface. So, I said, okay, I'm going to pull the trigger on it. This is a Scarlett Solo 3rd Generation 2-in, two 2-out two USB interface from the good people at Scar Focusrite. This is from Focusrite. Now, what's cool about this is it has... Um, it, it has high performance converters, uh, record and mix up to 24 bit. It has balanced outputs, a quick start tool. You can use a uh, PC or a Mac. It has a USB cable included. I mean, it, it just has everything you need. If you want to record, you put one mic in it, and you also have a guitar synth. If you want to hook up guitars to it, then it has a, a, a line outputs for studio monitors on the back as well. And you just hook it up to your laptop, man. It has a USB cord to it. And I'm going to have a blast with this. I am definitely going to have a blast with this. They have different versions of this, too. Uh, they have a duo, like a two, um, two mic outlet for this for a little more. This one, I paid $119, $119 for this. Like I said, this is very important that you need. And it also comes with... Um, it comes with Pro Tools first, which is like it's or Ableton Live, and then oh, it comes with a few things, a few softwares. So you get Pro Tools first, which is like a free version of Pro Tools, so it has limited capabilities and you can't add plugins to it. Then you also come with Ableton Live Lite, which is also another uh DAW 
uh, that you can use uh, to record on another XLN audio addictive keys so it's keyboard instruments and they have a soft tube uh, which is a plug-in and then they have focus right plug-in suite and then plug-in collective so you get a lot with this man you can pick Ableton or Pro Tools whichever one you want to record with me personally I'm gonna try yeah, I'm even trying a new software because I usually use this free version of Pro Tools called SE and it's old and outdated so I'm gonna use uh, PreSonus Studio One I'm gonna upgrade to the artist version and I'm gonna try this with that so that's that nothing else in the box next up this is very important as well um, this is what you need this is what helps connect the interface to the microphone excuse me for not having knife man you know, I, don't, I don't have a knife anymore I actually put my knife in the washer and it messed it up and I don't have I haven't been to a store to buy a new one this is a female to male XR, XLR cable to hook up your microphone to the interface so you hook the microphone in here and the other end you hook into the microphone and then of course you have the connector from the USB from here to the computer and that's how you get your power you get a better quality sound so you need a microphone in order to do that and you need this cord in order to connect the two so that's that next of course is the microphone now this XLR came from Amazon. This is like their own brand. It was $16.99. I'll post a link to that as well. It's 50 feet long. So you can actually use it, man. If you're having a performance or something somewhere on the stage, you can actually connect it and use it long ways. I did that because the way I got my room set up, I may have a computer on one side and record on another side. I'll figure all that out. Um, so that's why I bought one long. This microphone also Shout out to Wavy Wayne. He gave good feedback on it. It is a Audio Technica AT2020. I bought this microphone. So you can check that out. So yes, it is a cardioid condenser microphone. You get great sound. Um, and it also, it feels like it will, it kind of has it closed in, which is good. You don't want it all airy and, and crazy. And you also want to make sure you have a great surrounding when you're recording. Um, so I'm not going to open it right now and get off into it, but yes, I'm going to put a link into the description of that. This microphone was actually on sale. Their normal price, $100. I got it for $79. It's actually a small mic. Small. It's nice. But yeah, it was $79.99 on sale right now on Amazon, which is a good deal. It's normal price, $99.99. So you get $20 off of the microphone. I'll leave the link below to that. And lastly, I have uh, is an Audio Technica ATH M20X studio headphones. So you use these, these are monitor headphones. You also use these when you're recording. They have 40 millimeter drivers. Um, so you can use this, man. It goes perfect with recording. Excuse that noise. Somebody got a dirt bike or somebody by you by my house. So I guess that's something new they picked up. But yeah, so I'm gonna hook, I'm not gonna open it, it's too much to open, but yes, got these. These were $49.99. Um, I'm gonna try them out, if they don't work, I might go with something a little more expensive, but these came, these are actually the same brand as the headphones, so I decided to give them a try and see how well they work, and I will let you guys know how that does. Um, now, one thing I am missing, I have a friend that is actually a studio engineer and he told me, hey, you should definitely also look into getting a preamp. I'm, I'm familiar with preamps, but I didn't know I needed one since I've got this interface. He told me, no, it's good that you have the interface, but you still want to get a preamp because it helps you get an even better sound. So he told me about a, a, um, a preamp that they have on Guitar Center. Uh, so it's art tube I think that's the name of it and uh, if you guys want that too I'll put that link down below as well so I'm, I'm thinking about getting one of those I think it was like $69.99 on Amazon so I think I'm gonna pick up one of those as well so with all this together man you come out spending probably a little over $400 maybe um, this is 79 well basically 80 50 that's 130 this was 120 so what 130 and 120 is what 250 and then this was like 
15 bucks. So, yeah. Way less than 400. I don't know why I, where I got 400 from, but yeah, it's like 265, 270, uh, and get you a good deal, man. A nice little setup for what you have. I also bought some padding. It's downstairs. I haven't picked that up yet. Uh, some good padding to record. So I got that also. And then I'll get the preamp. The preamp is like 60, 70 bucks. So that'll be a little over 300 dollars for a decent sound for what you're trying to do. Um, and if you're not a great at mixing, you can find a studio engineer to mix your music. But that is pretty much it, man. I thank you guys for tuning in. I know it's something different from shoes. But like I said, if this is something that you're into, uh, if you are an artist or whatever the case may be and you're looking for something, you may want to start here. So that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You know what to do. And until the next video, you guys be cool.